Do you have a down bad friend that keeps deleting their messages? Do you have a potato computer that does not take screenshots fast enough? Did you wish for a way to catch your down bad friend red-handed for the rest of their life this Christmas? If that is you, then you've clicked onto the perfect video. Snipechan, your favorite chan. It will help you save people who edit their message, delete their message, and that includes files. You can catch your down bad friend so red-handed that you can't even tell the difference between red and red anymore. Introducing the best Snipebot available at your local internet. Here are a list of commands. So SC exclamation help gives you this menu. You can check the version. So version. Now if I were to delete a message, which I did earlier. So if we do snipe prefixes, it's hard to type. But yeah, then we can also do snipe and we look at a specific snipe. So let's look at the second one since the index starts at zero. We can also do a snipe list, which we can either do no input. So it brings us to the, the last one. So the most recent one, or we can, let's say, look at a specific one. Let's look at the third one. And now you realize we have a few buttons. We can look at the previous one. <laughs> yep. We can hide the list, we can remove the snipe. So this is only if you have manage message permissions. So if we go back to the snipe list, so we're down to three. We can hide the list. Yep, so if you do have message manage permissions, you can also do, you can just manually remove it by giving it an index. So let's remove the first one. Now you get the list. You can also do clear, so it clears the entire cache. So now there should be nothing that it snipes, which is the case. And that's about it for the showcase. Make sure to join the server to get access to the code. All right, so here's how you can download Snipe Chan. Uh, first, you want to join my Discord server. It's gonna be in the description. Uh, after you've read the rules, go over to Creations. Now, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you can react with these as, if you want. I, I thought he was gonna spell something. Anyways, yep, you wanna go to the GitHub, which I already have opened here. And if you don't plan on editing the code, or reading the code, you don't really need to look here. So you can read through all of this if you want, but we're gonna go straight to the point. You want to first go to releases. The most recent one is version 1.6.1. .1. I claim to not be updating this project, but I literally just did 41 minutes ago and I might do that in the future. But you wanna go download the snipechan file as well as the config.yml. Quickly, we're gonna go down to developer portals so the reason why I'm going here is because I can't host this bot and give it to you guys to use. Now if I want this bot to be in more than 75 servers, I have to verify it. And Discord will surely delete my bot if they do find out it's a snipe bot since it's against the TOS. So unfortunately, you guys are going to have to host it yourself. You want to start off by going to new application, but new application, personal, no, no team. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it snipe chan. I have to agree and you know I'm kind of breaking this anyways we continue you can give it a profile picture none of this really matters oh what too none of this really matters you want to go to bot you want to add a bot now they say this action is irrevocable but you can delete this entire application so don't mind that once again give it an icon if you want we're going to keep the name we want to enable message content guild members and presence update or actually, no, we don't need presence update. Yeah, so just guild members and message content. Now that we have those, you might want to check public bot so people don't end up running the commands. Although I do have a safeguard saying that the command must be run in a specific server. Now we don't have a token, so we're going to reset a token. All right, so now that we have our token and we're going to copy it, I'm going to keep it on our clipboard for now. I'm going to go back to general information. We're going to have an application ID. And now we're going to go back to the GitHub and we're going to invite the bot to our server using this tool. Now, if this is your server and you're going to host a bot, just do administrator. It doesn't really matter. And then we go to this link down here and we invite it to a server, my basement. Authorize. I'm a human. Awesome. 
And now coming back, we have main chat, the bot just landed and it's offline. So what we're going to do is we just copy the token. Now, if we go into our download, now we have these two files. So make sure they are in the same folder or else it won't work. I suggest creating a folder on your desktop or in this case, I have it in downloads and I spelled snipe wrong. It doesn't matter. We're going to go into config and make sure to name it just config. Now a text editor works too. So, but I have VS Code, so I'm going to use this. Now we're going to paste the bot token here. I have to have the server ID. So what we're going to do is go to Discord. We're going to go into user settings and we're going to scroll down to advanced. You want to turn on developer mode. After you've done that, all you need to do is right click your server, copy the ID and paste it here. Now I'm going to keep the default prefix. I'm going to keep all of these true. So these are all just self-explanatory. You can read them yourself. And these two are something you want to worry about. Then you want to go here and you want to create a channel. We're going to go to the logs channel. We're going to copy its ID. We're going to go back and we'll replace once two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero with this ID. Just save it. So control S, close it. Now we go back to our folder. Now, assuming you have Java installed, if you don't go online, search how to do that. Now type CMD. Now you have this. You want to do Java dash jar. You want to take this and you want to drag it over into your window or you can uh, copy its path. Uh, but on Windows, you can do this. I think Mac, you can do this too. Press enter and you wait, it, wait for it to do some checking. So read this if you want, but this place, it shows you your version and author's note. And yep, successfully read config.yml. Press enter to start the bot. And it will do its setting up and everything. And once it says done, you're good to go. So bot is online. And what we're gonna do is go to Snipe Chan. I'm gonna send a message to say hello. We're gonna delete it. Now we got our logs here as well as in our logs. That's about it for the setting up section. That's Snipe Chan for you. If you like this bot, then you should check out my other Discord bots you can use.